Welcome to another video of Dream Data. This video is a practical introduction to the platform. We're going to have a look at how do I log in, how to invite new users and manage their permissions. We will look at the navigation. How do I navigate between the reports? How do I save a report? And how can I export a report? And further settings. In order to sign up or log in to Dream Data, you would have to navigate to our website, dreamdata.io. If you do not have an account, then you get on, click on Get Dream Data for free. If you do have an account, then you will log in by clicking on the Login button and land directly in your Dream Data account. If you'd like to invite new users to your platform, you would go to the menu at the bottom where your name is and then navigate to user management. By clicking on user management, you will see a top menu saying invite user. Please insert the email address of the colleague that you'd like to invite to and click on invite. Under roles and permissions, you'll be able to see who has access to the platform and what is their role. You can also, under actions, remove their access if they are no longer working at your company. The different roles that you have available are admin, data manager, and viewer. The viewer has only access to look at reports at, at the content without changing anything. Data manager has almost all rights as an admin but cannot invite new people into the system. Under security, you'll be able to select certain domains that we should exclude where they cannot enter your Dream Data account. And again, if you'd like to have a single sign-on, please reach out over to support or clicking by contact us and let us know so that we can enable this for you. Let's talk about navigation. If we look in here, this is our menu basically. And the main reports is engagement, performance, journeys, and revenue analytics. In order to navigate between the different sections, you'll find, you'll click on them and then find below sub points, sub menu points, where you can click again in order to open the report. It is important that you have tracking working on your website in order to, for example, see um, all reports under engagement. This notification will let you know exactly what's going on and what you need to do in order to make it work. Let's say you have a report on the performance and let's say we go to acquisition. If you'd like to save a report after setting up your filters, please click on Save Report. Give the report a name. If you want to, you can also give it a description. And then click on Save. Now you'll be able to find that Save Report under Home and Shared Reports. This is specifically useful if you'd like to return to this report constantly without having to set up all the filters all over again. If you have a report where you would like to understand the data or extract the data, then you'll find everywhere this kind of small wheel. You click on the wheel and you'll be able to download as a CSV, Excel, PDF. And that is true also for reports down below where we are actually giving you a bit more of data, and more insights. You can open the reports by clicking on the title or simply export the data by clicking on the wheel. 
before you start working with dream data, it is super important that you make sure you have everything set up under data platform. Data platform consists of sources, destinations, and settings. On the sources, you will see everything that you can connect. It is highly important that you connect web traffic. So web tracking, that means JavaScript, Google Tag Manager, or segment. Your ads, that means paid, for example, or SEO, Google content, social, and specifically also your CRM system. You need those things connected in order for Dream Data to really perform well. If you like to export data to uh, Data Studio, for example, because you'd like to build on your own dashboards, make sure to activate Google BigQuery and then Google Data Studios. More to that you'll find on other videos. This is just for you to know where to find the destinations. Under settings, we have the main settings that you can set up in order to use Dream Data. So for once on the general, you'll find your currency, you can switch between different currencies. That will change the currency for the full platform on each and every single report. Under email exclusion, you'll be able to exclude certain emails, IP exclusion and host exclusion. Conversions. A conversion here is defined by you. We have some examples usually set up where you'll be able to see what it means if it's a demo request a form fill a sign up but whatever you consider being a conversion that means a user for example identifying himself by giving us their email address set it up by clicking at add new conversion select the type of conversion say we would like to consider signups a conversion you can decide whether you want to have all type of signups count as a conversion or if there's any specific sign up that you consider a conversion and then select which conversion you think it is for example form submission at last give the conversion a name and um, click on done click on done and then you will have a notification which lets you know it has been saved. The whole topic about conversions and how it works we will be seeing in another video. This is just the setup. Content. In order for us to deliver specific data on specific pages which will be relevant for performance and revenue analytics as we have specific content reports you will have to map out content from your website this works by selecting the domain that you'd like to map out and then the url path that means you do not need to type in dreamdata.io slash y but it is enough if you write in slash y and that is the path that we will follow. Please click on select Y, otherwise it will not be selected. And then give the whole thing a category name that is FAQ, for example, and then click on add. By adding it, you have added this path. We will basically capture everything that follows the path slash Y, and that will be mapped for you to see under content performance or revenue analytics perform content section. UTM mapping. This is also uh, quite easy to do. You will set up over here how the UTM um, parameters look like at the moment and over here how you would like this to be displayed within Dream Data. So what name and what source should it be, what channel, um, and once you've filled out the sections, you can always click in and select one of the options, options of the drop down menu, click on add, and then on save. 
under analytics customization, you'll be able to set up uh, deal sizes and uh, days to value, how long it takes. And that will be relevant for segmentation under revenue analytics reports or engagement reports, as these are two different filters that you can set up when you're filtering for specific company size, deal sizes, that is where you would set it up here. Attribution models. Attribution models are depending on your package, you will have uh, the main five attribution models or just one. Um, but in this case, we can see different attribution models enabled. The whole thing enabling and disabling is simply moving this around and then clicking on save settings. This will affect all reports where attribution is an option as a filter option. Stage models. Within stage models, depending on your package, you'll be able to set up your own stages or you will have to contact your CSM assigned in order to set up custom stage models. That depends on the package. The free package has three main stages already set up. That is uh, first um, sign up, deal created and deal close one. And then for customers in the team and business packages, there's more options to create their own stages based on events and CRM data. Um, as well as custom solutions. The custom solutions is specifically for business customer uh, 